Hello. Okay, so we I actually used the heat tool to dry the um the chroma crackle and it created what they call the demented derma technique is when you apply the chroma crackle, which is the stuff all over and then use a, a heat gun to God seriously you anyway you use a heat gun to heat it up and dry it really good and you get all of these beautiful valleys and bumps and scales and stuff I have already sealed this with uh, the Liquitex matte sealer um, or matte medium excuse me I am about ready to mix up some flesh color paint so I'm gonna tip you down so you can watch what we're doing I hope I hope maybe my goodness why is everything got to be so difficult please explain all right guys I hope that that this works I'll scooch out here so you can see what I'm doing I have two blobs of white I went and got some good white today at least so here's my this is uh, FW ink flesh color I'm gonna my goodness you guys stay with me I promise you I'm not usually this not with it all right anyway I'm gonna put a couple drops of the flesh maybe my gosh <laughs> oh dear there it goes apparently I had a glop in it all right and I'm mixing this in with white uh, these are inks these are acrylic inks and you can mix them with acrylic paints um, I'm doing it this way because it's gonna give me not a solid tone but more of a swirly tone uh, I'll show you when I get it set right I want it to be kind of a kind of a like a sallowy flesh color see oh I don't know if you can tell what color that is or not hang on let me try this off is that better like a sallowy flesh color it is this one right here okay let me put the lid on this because as sure as I'm sitting here we all know what's going to happen. I'm going to screw the pooch and mess that up. Uh, you can use the FW inks in airbrushes, in resin. You can use the FW inks in a lot of different varieties and ways. All right. Now I'm going to start with a flesh tone covering her face. And uh, for that, I'm just going to use a small brush. It's not got to be anything. You know what? Matter of fact, no. I'll use this big crappy brush, the big crappy one. I'm gonna wet my brush, wipe off most of the water, and then go into my paint, and then I'm gonna dab the paint off. On I have wax paper in this tray. I have it lined with wax paper. And you can see where I've, I've dabbled it off. I dabbed right there. Okay, if this is too bright still, I might go in with maybe a little bit of brown and tone it down. Um, I really want her to have sallow, kind of a yellowy skin. Let me add a little bit of school bus yellow to this and see what we get. Because I'm thinking not necessarily the yellower the better, but I really want her skin to be kind of sallow. Um, her story is going to be that she contracted syphilis and when you get syphilis it affects pretty much everything um, it eats away at the mucous membranes and it does awful things to you I mean it, her hair will be patchy she'll have lesions um, some of these areas are going to be painted over with like a bloody gory icky 
Can you see how I'm doing that? I'm just tap, tap, tapping. I'm not stroking. I don't want brush strokes. I'm just tapping. And I'm letting the, the paint kind of wear off the brush so that I'm getting an uneven tone. And I'm going to stay kind of away from the nose area because that's going to get a different paint color. And I know you can't see me doing the sides of the neck, so I apologize. Um, I had told you before that I had already started working on this doll before, and I didn't like anything. Nothing was sticking. So the dark stain around her mouth and on her hands, that's from when I worked on her before. Um, I had put a glaze on her, and I didn't like how it was going, so I cleaned it off. And then I figured I'll uh, try something else in a day or two. Because that's usually, if a doll gives me problems, I'll put her away for a day or two and then I'll move on to something else. Because, you know, life is really too short to let that kind of stress get to you. So, um, and she's going to have several coats of paint as well. It's not going to be just a one and done type of a thing because we're going to want layers on her because this this kind of a scaly, park marky skin would have many layers of color, different variations in tone and everything else. So that's where we're going with it. My nose, sorry guys, my nose is stuffy and runny at the same time. Oh, I'd take a decongestant, but they dry me out so bad I can't stand how they make me feel. So I chug coffee like it's going out of style. And, uh, yeah. All right. So that's one coat, and I'm going to do her hands. Same situation. I've got a feather floating around here. I don't know where... Yesterday I came in here and there was hair and feathers and I, I don't know where it all came from. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Better not be getting sick. That's all I can say. I hate being sick. I don't make a good sick person. I whine and complain even more than usual. Okay, see these do not have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Um, the way I understand it, and I have done extensive research, I know more about syphilis I think than most people now. That's not exactly something to brag about, though, I guess. Um, is in the second stage of the disease, you can break out with uh, pustules. It's pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly looking. Um, so, this, the little bit of texture that she has on her hands is really good, even with the, uh, see the the like um, the previous stain that's perfect it looks appropriate so I didn't cover it all up I just added a little bit of top layer coverage I am NOT doing her legs because you can't take the dress off so why would you ever see her legs you know okay top layers dry I have some like a beigey color. I hear on my brush too. My goodness. Okay, I have beigey color. It's kind of like a linen-y buff color. I don't even know what color it's called. Um, it is unbleached titanium. But to me, it looks like a buff uh, beige. What's that color? And I'm going to go over some of the areas, not all of them. The ones that are like a little bit more school brush, school bus yellow, will get a layer of the buff. 
um, just, you know, dibbly dabbly here or there. We want this to have a depth and you don't get a depth unless you uh, apply many coats. So that's what we're doing. We're going to apply as many coats as we need. And plus I can then cover up the previous stamp on the back of her head. She was a cheap doll and had a, uh, you know, a brand uh, stamp stamped on the back of her neck. I'd never heard of the company, couldn't find anything about them online, and uh, you could tell she was not the most high class girl, we'll call it. Sorry, Carol Ann, but you weren't, even you have to admit that. Okay, <clears throat> now, this area right here of her nose will have uh, a different kind of a feel, we'll say. I have a brush like this. I'm going to wet it, wipe it off, and I'm going to take, surprise, surprise, bloody red color. Not a straight up red. This is red that is slightly mixed with black. And I am going to jam it in there where I made the hole and let it fill that up. And I'm going to go back in. This is going to be darkened. Um, theoretically, the, uh, the septum area would be almost a bubblegum pink, according to the pictures that I found. Um, so I will pinken it up a little bit, but I'm not going to pinken it up that much. And I have... Uh, I kind of carved, kind of sort of carved a little bit of a tooth, which will show as white with kind of a blackening to it. Um, the outlying areas around the, the nasal area where we textured, those I'm going to lay down a color of red so that it has the underlying color, and then it's going to get... Uh, some yellow, some green, and some black. Because that's what it was according to the pictures. It was pretty gnarly. Okay, that's what we have. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's do like this patch right here, make this a skin lesion. Okay, and one over here. And I'm purposefully picking areas that had a very highly raised relief. I'm going to fill these in with the bloody color. And then after the bloody color dries, I'm going to kind of dry brush over the top so that it picks out the scabby areas. So we have that. There's her nose. And then we have that. <clears throat> um... You know what, let's, uh, just for giggles, let's do one down here so that I can, when I dirty up the dress, it makes sense. Uh, your lymph nodes would also swell terribly, and it would be very painful. So, you know, there's that. Okay. Now, do we want to do one? In, well, let's do one on our hand, too, right there. Okay, just dibby dabbing, dibby dabbing, just do 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 do. That's how I'm doing it. I'll show you right here. We'll do right here, 
Doop, 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 doop. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like my dog, after he gets a treat, you got to show him both hands. Because otherwise, he don't believe you. He knows you're hiding something. You're holding out. All right. I got to turn my, my warmer on because it's cold in here. And ain't nothing going to dry if it's cold. Oh, goodness. All right. Now, for the green. Let's see. What color greens have I got? What color is this? I like that green. I don't know what color, where it came from. Oh, you know what that green is? That's that turquoise that has shimmers in it. I don't know that I want shimmers. Yeah, no, that's a little too shimmery. So I have some like uh, almost a lime green. I mean, wouldn't you call that a lime green? Right there. I think that's kind of a limey green. But if it works... I'll use it. Let's see. Well, I don't hate it. It's getting kind of blendy with the red. And there's going to be other colors over top. Let's see. It's not bad. What do you think? Yeah, we'll work it. We will work that green. Get some green going on our other wounds. And it's the same motion, guys. I'm still just, just tapping it in. I'm not brushing it back and forth, and I'm not laying it in real thick. I dip my brush in that green, and then I brush most of it off all right I keep moving her closer because I'm thinking you could probably see better if I'm closer but I don't think that that's really the case but here's what I'm doing can you see me yes that's all I'm doing right there that's it and then what I do is I wipe off where it picks up some of the red. I'll wipe my brush off on my wax paper and pick up fresh green. Wipe that out because I don't want a big puddle of it. I want just the smallest little amount of green on my brush. And I go in and tap it over the red. Now you got to be careful because red and green mixed make brown. Excuse me, fellas. I can't see what I'm doing. My apologies. Okay. Um, not going to worry about the ones on our hands. They're not quite big enough to warrant all the extra gore. So I've cleaned my brush of the green. And we are going to go in with a little bit of the... I don't really like that yellow. That's the problem is I don't really have a yellow that I like. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Well, there's this yellow. My yellow oxide. The only problem with that is, is that it's uh, clumpy. But I suppose I can work with it. Let's see. I just need a dib little dibbity dabby. Ooh, that is some, that is some seriously chunky paint. Like seriously chunky. Oh well. You know what fixes chunky paint? A wet brush. Does add a little bit of water to it. It won't get rid of the chunks, but I don't care about the chunks. That just adds to the realism. Can you see how chunky that paint is? 
It is chunky. That's not good paint. I think my paint went bad. But it's the right color. And it's the same thing. I'm not going over the entire thing. I'm going mainly concentrating like on the outer edges of it. And I may have to come back in here and add more green because my green as it's drying is just disappearing. I don't really want it to disappear. And I want that yellow a little bit brighter. So I'm going to take some of, ooh, that's too much school bus yellow. I took about this much school bus yellow. And I'm going to mix it in with that yellow ochre. Right, yellow ochre? Is that what color I said it was? Yeah. No, yellow oxide. My apologies. So I have a little bit of a, just a little bit of a brighter color. Not by much, kind of mustard is what it looks like. All right. I see, I keep pushing her closer to you guys. Yeah, if you ever, <clears throat> if you ever want to spend some time, you know, just killing time, Google syphilis and take a look at the, at the, uh, symptoms. I sure as heck would not have wanted to get this disease. It's so bad. And I'm going to take this yellow up a little bit. And, uh, up further in her nose guys I might be putting my hand in the way if I am I apologize I can't see very well as you know Okay, I think that looks pretty good. See, I told you guys this doll was going to be, you know, right quick and in a hurry. All right, now I need to add some very dark, like almost black, bloody areas. Because they are, in the pictures, they are like, they look black. So this is mostly black. I'd say 90% black. And I'm going to go around like the outside edge I got a little bit gloppy but I won't tell if you don't I don't like how that looks I'm gonna need to go with a lighter hand And if anybody is a scholar and knows knows anything about this, please, by all means, or if you're just, you know, a, a, a hobbyist and, the, you know, gross medical things are your thing, please leave me a comment if I'm doing it right or if I'm doing it wrong. I really would like to know. Um... I have a few medical people that I run stuff past, but in this day and age, you don't really see this in the United States, so they would have to look it up. You know, okay, now I've done that. What I'm going to do is I've got a, I just grabbed a brush at random. This is a big, giant, soft filbert. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to kind of soften that black a little bit because like I said I think I'm thinking the black is looking very very almost harsh and I, I don't want it to be that startling I'll have to go back over this this side over here and fix that because it's way too dark All right, 
Okay, let me get a different, scrape some of that off and get a more of a blood color. Yeah, that's better. We'll do the blood on top of the black and that will kind of pull it all together. And then add a little bit more of the yellow and green. And then once I gloss this, this is gonna look amazing. But yeah, if you if you know that I'm doing something right or wrong, I would really appreciate comments. That would be awesome. I think she's looking pretty wickedly good. Wait till you see the close-up shots. As usual, I will post one um, when I'm done. On both Instagram and Facebook. Can see that's just too red. Now I need a little bit of this dark to kind of set it. That makes all the difference, I think. I mean, dab, 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 dab. Excuse me, guys, again, I gotta. Okay, <clears throat> still with the same dirty brush, I'm going to pick up more of our yellow mix. I'm going to lay it on top because that would be like the pussy yucky color. I'm going to take, I think, some of this beige too and work that around. Yeah, that's good. Do any of you guys that paint, whenever you go to paint something, you kind of hold your breath while you're doing it? I don't know why I do that. But I do. I, like, I lean in to go do this, and I hold my breath. I don't know why. Alright. It's not even like this requires a super steady hand. It's just something I do. Crazy, huh? <sighs> yeah, that looks good. I'm going to add some more of the green. Not anything too crazy. And then I'm going to tap that in a little bit. All right. Just one tap, I think that looks pretty amazing. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I don't hate it. All right, for her nose, I'm gonna do the same thing. I need to add in a little bit more of the green because I've lost a lot of it. Not a whole, whole lot, but you know, a little bit. And I'm gonna do some of that beige too, because I really like the way the beige makes it look uh, pussy. Incidentally, try to spell pussy and uh, see if it don't get you in trouble. Been there, done that. <sighs> Oops. 
Uh, I swear that wasn't what I meant. You know. All right. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. I don't know why I have to feel the need to make the noise when I'm doing it. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now this side. See, scooching right back toward just like getting your hair cut. They put your head in one spot and you want to keep tipping it the other way. You know what I mean? That's all I'm doing right there. And then here's the beige that adds the pussy look. Little bit of yellow. Let's see, I think just a teensy bit here and there of that, and then softened up. Well, y'all, I think she looks ravishing. Once I put the gloss on it, once I put the gloss on it, what do you think? Leave me a comment in the box below and let me know what you think. I think she looks pretty good. I'm loving her. You look beautiful. She does. Not lying. Okay, that has got to dry completely. And then I'm going to put a high gloss coat over top of that uh, because that would have been oozy and goozy and awful. And I think we're done for tonight. Um, once that is totally dry, like I said, I'll put a coat of the, it's upside down because I'm running out. I'll put a coat of the triple thick over top of all of the sores, all of them, including the, the nasal bone. Um, then I'm going to let that dry completely. You've got to leave that stuff alone. You cannot heat it. You cannot rush it. You cannot do anything to her until the triple thick is dry. It will bubble on you. It will wrinkle on you. It will, it's temperamental and it's not my favorite thing to work with, but you know, we kind of all have our crosses to bear. So I'll use the triple thick. That's fine. Because it's quicker than resin. I would prefer resin, but resin takes 24 hours and I just don't, I don't want to wait that long. She's too awesome. I'm liking the way we're going. Um, I'm, I'm going to look at her later after she dries. And if I feel like, you know, she could maybe use a little extra coat of dry brush, you know, let's do it. Let's, You've seen me do dry brush. I might do a coat of dry brush on her. I, I don't want to do it right now because that paint's wet and I'm fighting the urge because I'll ruin it. I will ruin it. I will go in there and I will be just like, damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, look for her, her close up on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, leave me a comment. Leave me a like. 
and please subscribe share this video with your friends get everybody over here we'll have us a party um and if you have any questions or comments i'd love to hear them thanks so much bye bye